final leg. So we know we had tons of cancellations, but outdoor season is actually starting off. There's a couple results that did happen this weekend. Gonna bring a couple of these to you guys. So first off, we have Akani Simbine who competes for South Africa. He was running the 100 meters in his home country, came away with a huge win in a best of 9.91 seconds after running heats and semifinals. So this is a great performance for him. Of course, a world lead. This is actually his second fastest performance in the history of his career. His personal best is 9.89 seconds from back in 2016. So this is a really strong performance and it actually equals the fastest time ever by an African on African soil. So Simbine really cementing himself right now. He's been very consistent over the past couple years. So if we see the outdoor season really progress and going towards the Olympics, he's definitely going to be a factor. So keep a lookout for him. Now, still in South Africa, we have to talk about Castor Semenya. So she announced recently that she's going to be contesting the 200 meters going into the Olympics this year. Of course, we know she's been banned from competing in the 400 meters, 800, 1500, all the way up to the mile in that range there. So she can't contest those events. So her only options at the Olympics would be going down to the 200 or going up to the 5000 meters. So in her event, of course, we know she has a personal best of sub 50 in the 400. So that lends it more to the 200 meters. So she's definitely aiming for that going towards the Olympics. This past weekend, she managed to run 23.49 seconds in the 200 meters. Personal best for her. Her previous personal best was 24.36 seconds. So she took a lot off of that. But the Olympic qualifying standard for the women in the 200 meters is 22.80 seconds. So she still has a lot of time that she needs to take off. But Caster Semenya might be able to do it. I don't think she would be a metal threat. I mean, we never really know, but she's definitely going for that 200 meters. So keep a lookout for her. Now let's head over to Botswana where we saw a great meet going down in the capital city. First off, we have Amanto Macho, who's the 2011 world champion at the 400 meters. She managed to come away with a best of 51.22 seconds, a world leading performance for the 400 meters outdoors already. So she's definitely, you know, she's been on the downturn in her career already. She's, you know, again, 2011 world champion, but she's definitely going to be one to look out for throughout this 2020 season. Still on the women's side, but this time in the 200 meters, we saw Christine Botlogetswe, who competes for Botswana as well. She managed to run 23.74 seconds in that 200 meters, taking the win there. She was a really strong competitor last year in the 2019 season, having run a best of 50.48 seconds, which ranked her number nine in the 400 meters in that 2019 season. So she's definitely going to be one to keep a lookout for. Now heading over to the men's side, specifically in that 400 meters, we saw three guys throw down some really great performances. First off, we had Boitu Melo Milo, who threw down the winning performance of 45.64 seconds. Great performance for him there. He was followed behind by Babalo Ketebe, who's been very consistent over the past couple years, came back and ran 45.76 seconds. In third place, we saw Isaac McQuala, who's been very, very prominent on the circuit and in the world championships over the past couple years as well. He managed to run 46.14 seconds. So the three Botswana guys really putting down some great 400 meter runs here. Now let's finish things off back in China, actually, with Li Zhao Gong. She was competing in the women's shot put at a meet in Beijing, the first meet that has been contested in China since the outbreak occurred over the past couple months. This only had a couple athletes, no spectators, but she got out to a best of 19.70 meters. Great performance. It was a 2020 world lead for the indoors. This is actually her third best shot put performance ever in an indoor performance. So Li Gong showing the great performance despite the things that have been going on this year and might be one to look out for for that Olympics this year. All right, so those are some of the performances that went down this weekend. Of course, we know the outdoor season is kind of in question. A lot of issues going around the world, but definitely going to keep a lookout for some more performances. I'm also going to come with another video soon. Going to recap the indoor season, take a look at some of the best races and performances and some of the best athletes. So keep a lookout for that. Make sure you guys keep tuning in, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.